Hi, welcome to Karen's Pages. My name is Karen and I collect comics and original art. And today I have something amazing from Heritage that I would like to share with you. But before I open up the box, I just want to say a special thank you to Bry over at Bry's Comics. Um, he recently reached out to me to do a collaboration video with him over on his channel. And it kind of got my channel a lot of attention so um, I really appreciate that Bri so thank you very much and um, thank you also to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel and leaving a thumbs up on the videos and also everyone um, who has been commenting below the videos um, I really appreciate it because I really like being able to interact with everybody um, and share stories about the hobby uh, it's a lot of fun so Thank you, thank you so much to everybody for all of your support. I, I really appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed, so thank you so much. Um, and with that, um, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, <laughs> ready? Um, this is the cover to Spider-Man Adventures number five. This came out in 1995. Um, the pencils and inks were done by Alex Saviak, um, and he had a very long and amazing run on Spider-Man, various Spider-Man comics. Um, his art is absolutely amazing. So um, there wasn't a whole lot of description about the overlay um, on this in the uh, in the heritage description and so I mean I could I could tell by the pictures that it had one um, 
but it didn't have anything about whether or not it was the original overlay or if it was an overlay that was made um, you know well after the comic was produced just to um, make it look more like a cover because some sometimes collectors can can do that if they want um, you know if they want to add the the trade dress and and make it look more like a cover sometimes um, that can get added after the fact and so I just um, I kind of like everything to be original to the artwork and the, the production of the comic and so I, I like to know that information um, before I buy something whether or not um, the the cover was indeed <laughs> the actual cover that was published and whether or not if it has an overlay on it whether or not that was original to the production of the comic as well and um, and because Heritage didn't have that um, in the description um, I kind of did a little research and I found um, this cover on Alex Saviak's website and it had the overlay on it on his website and um, there are also other indicators that this is the original um, overlay it's got um, <laughs> it's got tape and staples up here and it looks pretty old and dirty and um, the actual um, issue and the the month is is a separate paste up onto the <laughs> onto the other paste up in the corner box and so um and then there's like white out here there's just um changes made to it that that make it look more like it wasn't just kind of printed off and then um cut out and and pasted on it 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 was kind of a, a more of a process um for the production of the comic as opposed to um you know a collector just printing out one piece and and pasting it on a piece of of acetate um so the so there's actually um there's actually two overlays on this the um there's mysterio is written right here and then the corner box and then um where it has the direct edition so that's one overlay. And then if I cannot if I cannot ruin this. Um and then the um Spider-Man Adventures is written on another overlay. And I just realized that this can come down like that. And so <laughs> that is the original art and then there's some um, the zipatone here and then there's a bunch of white out <laughs> around spider-man and mysterio's cape um, and then Alex Saviak signed it below mysterio's hand right here yeah it is incredible and it's really cool to have um, the overlays since they were original um, to this piece it's it's fun to have that because then when you kind of put it all together it looks you know just like the cover um, because it is <laughs> because it is the cover um, yeah so you know, I just like to know if um, whether or not the overlay was original to the comic, and um, or if it was if it was done kind of after the fact by a collector because um, it's not for me at least it's not as important to have um, like all the trade dress and everything on there if it's not original to the comic. Um, for me, I mean, I I would be happy without the overlays if that's how this comic was produced if it if it didn't have the overlays on it maybe they added it digitally or something like that um it wouldn't really be important for me as a collector to have you know the trade dress if it was added after the fact by um, another collector so if i bought this um at auction knowing 
that all of the overlays were added after the fact, I'd, I'd be inclined to just probably pull them off and <laughs> just have the original art um, the way, you know, the way it was originally. Um, but since this is all original to the production of the comic, um, I um, I will definitely keep um, the overlays. I'll keep everything together. I think, you know, it, I think it's kind of cool because you you kind of get to see um, part of the process for how they how they made this cover. So if you want to know what the um, the actual comic book looked like, <laughs> this is the um, printed comic. And I don't know, it's just a really cool cover. I mean, Spider-Man and Mysterio. Um, <laughs> it's all, it's like timeless, right? So classic. Um, I, um, one of the reasons why this particular cover caught my eye, um, in addition to the fact that I really like Alex Saviak art, um, I also like <laughs> um, Amazing Spider-Man 66. Um, I actually unboxed this comic um, along with my uh, first Golden Age comic in um, a video that I did earlier. Um, but I, <laughs> this this cover always catches my eye and um, I feel like <laughs> um, Maybe this is Alex Saviak's uh, sort of tip of the hat to um, Ramita's cover for 66. I mean, they're very similar um, covers, but still very, very cool. Um, I don't know, I always love that um, kind of one character versus another on the, on the cover. I think that um, that works really well um, one of the other really cool things about um, Spider-Man Adventures 5 is that it was still done in Alex Saviak's, his personal art style that he had developed over the years that he had used on Web of Spider-Man. He had um, a little over seven year run on Web. And so um, this is still done in that style. Um, Starting with Spider-Man Adventure 6, Marvel actually asked um, Saviak to start drawing the comic so that it looked more like the animated TV series. Alex Saviak um, has had a very long and distinguished career in comics. Um, he started out with DC before eventually moving to Marvel, and he also worked for other publishers as well. Um, but he is best known for his 30-plus um, year career drawing Spider-Man. Um, he started out um, on Spider-Man as a fill-in artist for a couple of issues of Amazing Spider-Man before he moved to... Um, to drawing web of Spider-Man for over seven years. And then eventually he, um, started drawing Spider-Man adventures, which they <laughs> changed the name to adventures of Spider-Man eventually. So he did those two titles for, um, a little over two years. Then he eventually transitioned into doing the amazing Spider-Man comic strip for about 20 years. Um, he started out doing the Sunday strips. Um, he would do the pencils and Joe Sinnott would do the inks. And then, um, he started inking the dailies and then eventually he took over both the pencils and the inks on the dailies. So, um, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. He had a very long career working on Spider-Man. I just think, um, Alex Saviak is an incredible artist. I love his, um, very nice, classic, clean lines. I just think it's, you know, absolutely beautiful on Spider-Man. So, um, I am very, very happy to have, uh, Spider-Man Adventures number five cover and, um, 
yeah, it's going to be in my collection for a very long time. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> the thing. Okay. Actually, should I maybe pull this back? Is that better? Is that worse? Oh, then you can see all the junk on my desk. <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Oh. How about that? Is that better? That's pretty good. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm right back to where I was. Okay. Um, hi, welcome. <laughs> it's her, okay. <laughs> I feel like my hair is sticking up, but it's really just the mermaid. Okay, I think everything else is on the board. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, oh great, okay, so here's, um, the other overlay comes down, okay, <laughs> okay, here we go, <laughs> now we got that sorted out, okay, um, yeah, and, and one of my, um, collecting goals for Alex Saviak art um, is to try to get a really nice ASM Sunday strip penciled by Saviak and inked by Sinnet because they they are incredible. They are they are just amazing. So yeah, it's definitely one of my collecting goals for sure. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon.